What is Man? by Andy Besant, read by Dave Marsland of Cardiff Theosophical Society. This piece is an extract from Man's Life in Three Worlds by Andy Besant, published in 1919. Man is a spiritual intelligence, a fragment of divinity clothed in matter. A portion of mine own self becoming an immortal spirit in the world of living beings draweth around himself the senses of which mind is a sixth veiled in matter. Such is the comprehensive description of man given in the Bhagavad Gita. It shows, as the essential nature of man, a divine fragment and immortal spirit, and it notes also his outer aggregations, his clothing, his sheaves or bodies, whatever name you prefer, for his temporary changing part, as contrasted with his eternal nature drawn from God himself. To realise what man is, it is at this continuing life that we must look, for it is the man who is ever unfolding the divinity that he is, and moulding his changing bodies to express his ever-increasing capabilities. As the future tree is potential within the seed, as a seed planted in the earth draws therefrom its nourishment, as it is fed by sunlight and rain and air, and gradually the latent tree becomes patent. As the seed sends out rootlet and stem and leaves, and the seedling grows into the sapling, and the sapling into the tree, and the tree becomes larger with each season, reaching the stature of the original tree which had dropped the seed. As the leaves change, but the tree abides. As each season clothes it with new leaves, but the main tree increases with each season, drawing nourishment through the leaves for its own increasing and putting forth new leaves as the old ones die and fall off. So is it with the divine seed that is man, planted in the womb of matter by the eternal father. The seed, thus planted in matter, draws from matter its nourishment. It is fed by the sunshine of joy and the rain of sorrow, and the circumambient air of circumstance. With each season, which we call a life period, it puts forth its crop of leaves where through it gathers experience, and the leaves drop off as they send in their lives winning to nourish the tree. And the tree grows on and on, taking the likeness of its parent, until it becomes like unto him, and passes away from manhood into superhumanity, to live in wider fields a life ever growing fuller, richer and more divine. What then is man? He is a divine fragment, the divinity latent becoming patent the ever-recurring wonder which the Christian religion relates as the story of the Christ in which God becomes man. The Son of Man is truly the Son of God. Hinduism tells of the sacrifices of Purusha, God who sacrifices himself to be man, the men of his world. And the process of this becoming, the means of this unfolding, the secret of evolution, this is called transmigration. If we think of the spiritual intelligence passing from form to form, or reincarnation, if we think of the mortal bodies taken afresh in each life period. 